So now we will see the uh, graphical representation of the uh, memory architecture. It includes two main parts, the CPU and the uh, main memory. So the uh, main memory has a address from 0 to uh, 4095 that corresponds to the uh, 4 kilobyte memory as we discussed before. The uh, second part of the CPU includes the control unit. Um, within the control unit, we have the uh, program counter and the uh, instruction register. Uh, we also have another part uh, within the uh, CPU, that's the ARU. Um, the ARU basically performs all the uh, processing, uh, arithmetic uh, operation, logic, decision, and so on. Uh, we also have to uh, see several uh, registers, for example, the AC, MBR, REC, INREC, and uh, MR, uh, MAR. Um, the, uh, as we discussed before, the uh, register have uh, very specific purposes when um, the program are executing. For example, they hold value for uh, temporary storage. Um, uh, for example, the information uh, from the ARU can be uh, temporarily uh, stored in the MBR before it's uh, stored uh, to the uh, memory, for example. Uh, data uh, that is being uh, manipulated in a some way or the result of a simple calculation, for example. And next one, we're going to see how the uh, devices are interconnected. So basically, the register are interconnected and are connected with the memory through a uh, common uh, data bus. Uh, each device on the bus is identified by a unique number that is set on the control lines wherever that device uh, requires to uh, carry out an operation. We also can see that uh, there are, are several separate connections that uh, provide between uh, different uh, main components of the architecture. For example, uh, between the accumulator and the main memory buffer register. Also, uh, between the ARU and the accumulator and the main memory buffer register. Um, with this uh, architecture, the system uh, allow data are transfer between the device without the use of uh, of main data bus and uh, that's uh, gonna be uh, used to uh, speed up the performance of the uh, operation so here the uh, memory data part uh, as we discussed before we have the uh, several devices that sharing the uh, main data bus right here that the um, uh, 16 bus and each of the device right here have uh, a, a single unique number uh, corresponding to the bus address. So, for example, the main memory have the main memory have the bit uh, bus address is zero. The uh, uh, memory address register have the uh, bus address is one, and so on. So, uh, in addition, uh, we also uh, see that there's some. Um, path that you to speed up the uh, execution. For example, we have a uh, communication path between the uh, MAR and the uh, main memory uh, that's separate from the uh, MBI to the AC. Okay, MBI to the AC right here, that's uh, separate from uh, the path. Uh, we also can see that a, a special path from the MBI to um, the MBI to the ARU. Uh, that allowed the data in the MBR to be used in uh, arithmetic uh, operation. So uh, information can also be uh, transformed from the uh, AC to the uh, ALU and also from ALU back to the AC without using um, the uh, combo bus right here uh, through the uh, very specific uh, bus, uh, communication path between AC and ALU. So the advantage gain using the uh, additional path uh, ways is that the information can be put on the uh, um, uh, comma bus in the same uh, uh, clock cycle and which data are put on the uh, other pathway. So uh, with that uh, architecture, the system allows us to uh, perform uh, several events um, in a, a parallel.